saddened you. those into the uh, bag of holding. Woo! And uh, I guess I'll head out. No one else has anything to do. Nope. Bye, Mr. Guy, whose name I forgot. <laughs> but when him actually says is bye, Mr. Guy. He, Mr. uh... He waves, wish you mm -hmm. good travels, says happy gaff! Ah! Huh? You too! <laughs> and I would say you spent a five minutes in there. Ten minutes to the blacksmith. Go, go, go! Uh, while we're, while we're going, Hell's gonna ask Samson for her weaponry. Give me the gun. She's gonna tug on his cloak and be like, I could take some of the arrows and spears now. I had those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll give them. Cool. Also, uh, I just assumed Nim was holding the bags of holding. She'll give Samson and Hyala bags of holding. Oh. Can I have my glass bottles? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Three glass bottles. Boop, boop, boop. So Samson will give Hyala the spears and Nim the bottles. How many spears? It was ten spears. Cool. And forty arrows. Cool, cool, cool. Don't forget to give... Don't forget to add the diamonds now. Or, well, we can do that later, specific. But... I have... I have the diamonds... I have the ammo... Let me add... Uh... Fancy fish quiver. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> I, I thought Snooty you said, quiver. I thought you said fancy fish quiver. No, fish. Mm -hmm. Glub, glub, glub. Fancy bish quiver. Yeah. Fancy bitch quiver. That's what fish is. Well, I'm saying it like, not that. You're saying it with a hard T. Yeah. How could you? Because I'm a hard tea kind of guy. Golly. Gollich. <laughs> Gollant. <laughs> the Gollant on this one. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, now we're at the, um, armor word. -er -er. Alright, so that's another ten minutes off of the total. How many minutes you got left? Um, let's see, three, um... Satin juice? <laughs> Uh, so out of five hours, we are at four hours and five minutes. Four hours and five minutes.
I'm sorry, did you ask me a question? No, uh, we said we went to the armorers. You you chopped it you chopped it down the time and then we just went to the game. Oh god, I zoned out. All good. <laughs> no, that was that what Jade sent me. Oh. Oh. Man, so Cal will just watch. swing any way she needs to, don't she? I, we knew that already. Yeah. <laughs> Cal's a hoe. Yeah. Bye ho, bye ho, bye ho. Bye ho, bye ho. Off it's to off the to bed we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Sheets, get under the sheets. You throw bed. them off and then get under them. Well, because you have to throw them off the bed and then pull them over you. Oh, I thought we were throwing them off and then just doing it on the floor. Ah! Hi, <laughs> bye ho, bye ho, it's on the anyway, floor we go! <laughs> we walk into this armor. <laughs> so you walk into the armor. Then you approach. You hit the little anvil. Yes. Yes. Ting, ting. Why, Chimera? Ah, my pleasure, little fellows. Just finished up. Had to send something out. You know, last minute it took me a bit of a while. You know, friends ordering stuff. I am happy to supply as long as you know it benefits me. I got your order right here! And he goes into the back and you pick, you hear him heave up something that sounds heavy. And he comes walking out of his porridge room with the crate filled with all of the things you ordered. Awesome! It's all the things we ordered. Yeah, it's all the things you ordered. Look at those things, we ordered them. Yeah, the Ow. things that you ordered. The things we ordered. I, re I the remember ordered things. ordering those. The things that specifically we ordered. Those, Those things. things. Right, the things we ordered. <laughs> the things we specifically ordered. The things specifically for us. The things we ordered. Right. right. The things. Our things. The things that we ordered. The things specifically here because we ordered them. <laughs> Those, Those things. things. <laughs> Aw, oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Aw, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all together in this box. I love you guys. The things that we ordered. <laughs> oh, okay. I love you guys. Just give us the fancy stuff. Well, first we have to give him the money. Uh, nah. How much is it? Uh, Nimble Six guilt. Yeah. Six guilt? Yeah. So, and he goes through all the items. So that's your total, you know. Six guilt. Here you go. And we'll slide it over. I pleasure doing business. Pleasure doing business with you as well. Good luck, safe travels, and all of the stuff that I made for you, that's covered under quality guarantee. Anything should happen to them, come right back here, I'll fix it free of charge. Alright, sounds good, and Samson's gonna extend his hand out like he did to the other guy. <laughs> And you'll see him just be, oh, I love this boy! And he just swings his arm over, slaps it into Samson's hand, clasps it with the other one, and just full shakes your arm up and down and up and down. Uh... Guys, ready to head back to the boat? Uh, I'm. Sounds good to me. Then 
and we walk back, I guess. You walk straight back? Now, uh -huh. let's, let's see. From, yeah, that was where the thing was. It's three miles from there, that's 60 minutes. You have an hour and five minutes left, right? Uh, out of five hours, we have, like, 55 minutes. Since you said the time that we were at the armorers was negligible. Yeah. So, so like, at least 50-something minutes. Yeah, you, well, however quote-unquote late you would be is definitely under 10 minutes, so we'll call you fine. Fashionably late, the Galatnian way. Fashionable. As long as we're fashionable. <laughs> uh, give me a second. I need the bathroom. Contemplate your ro role play your walk back to the servant. You know, I had my doubts about this little excursion at first, but this was pretty fun. Why'd you have doubts? Oh. Rich people. Rich people. I, I know why, but Nim doesn't. <laughs> Samson, Samson just said. <laughs> oh, you know, rich people. Not everyone here is rich. I mean, more so than where I'm from. Besides, we hardly spent anything today. Huh? You had to go to a bank. To get smaller things, not to get any money. Uh, oh. I have several comments, it's just do I want to say them? Say them all. Yeah. Just dig this uh, hole as deep so as you can. I'm tempted to say, the amount we spent today you could find on the floor in any of my three rooms. <laughs> if not more. Why do you keep your currency on the floor? Sometimes it's I'm not gonna pick it up. <laughs> huh. Also, if I'd I ever say that must have been nice, but I know what you've gone through. <laughs> They would never say that. Who needs loving parents when you just have people to buy you things? This child's cracked. I don't know what you're talking about. You, you never, never do. <laughs> you're not using crack <laughs> properly. No, I mean it literally. Ah, not. never mind. I am using it properly. <laughs> this child's skull is cracked. No, it was her elbow. Her mind is cracked. Yeah, right down the middle. Yay! How how much do you guys usually spend when right you go down out shopping? I'm sorry. What'd you say? How much do you guys usually spend when you go out shopping? Um. Guild, maybe two. Only two? Gotta get the best for your dollar. Equivalent. <laughs> Gotta get yeah. the best for your shekel. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll look over to Leah. You guys go shopping? <laughs> <laughs> but no, she, what she actually says is just like, I don't go shopping. There's nothing to shop for. I hunt or make whatever I need. I'm it's independent. True. I mean, she doesn't necessarily make it. Rely plan. on no one. Only self. Specifically, plan. other people make all her shit. She just doesn't have to pay for it because it's expected that it belongs to everyone because communism. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Our supply. So, Nimble, uh, so like. <laughs> 
Scala's home country. Everything belongs to everyone. Santa's no, it's other country. country. That's just... San Earthland. Scala's people. Everything belongs to everyone. Sanson's people. Nothing belongs to no one. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're rich, then everything belongs to you. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is also mine. <laughs> what's yours is mine, and what's mine don't you fucking touch. <laughs> Also, that stuff that doesn't belong to you or me, that's also mine. That's mine. <laughs> mine, 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 Well, did you enjoy the shopping experience then? I know you've done it before, because we did it the first day we met, but still. Did you peasants enjoy actually being able to buy things for once in your feeble lives? No, you guys went shopping? Sure you guys had a good time. Simpson said, "You guys went shopping." Was that for sure serious or? Yeah, yeah he, he didn't. Shopping. He didn't go shopping with you guys at first. Yeah, he bumble fucked around Everingall trying to look for a post place. office and a bar. Yeah, like when you ditched us really early on, everyone else went to go get things. Did you not go get things? Uh, I picked up that bag of flour. That's what about it. This is like Samson's first roll. That was a perception roll, too. He failed so bad. He just. Oh, he, he walked around every place he could have grabbed a drink and just never found them. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like an oddly dry town. Huh. Man, this town's dry, ain't it? That's like one of the two. <laughs> That's one of the few things I remember about Session Zero. Simpson literally walking through and around the buildings before seeing the sign for any of the taverns he was near. And Nim Beyblading her way all the way to the castle. <laughs> This was pretty fun. Be nice to come back here. Eh, at some point. Hopefully I can come back looking a bit different. <laughs> you and me both. Spend even more money. Spend more Daddy's money. Daddy's money. <laughs> Daddy's money. Next time we're here, I'll treat you guys to a steak. A steak? Mm -hmm. mm. You can get a ribeye, a T-bone, a B-bone. I'm running out of steak names because I forgot. But you get the point. The equivalents of these. Yeah, whatever they're called is what Nim says. Unless you don't like steak. Hmm. Sounds good by me. Nim looks to Kella. Hmm? Just wanted to see if she reacts to the I'll get you guys steak. She doesn't. I'll get you steak. Would you also, you I, like that? I just imagine that to Kiala steak means just any cut of any meat. Yeah. <laughs> it's very not fancy. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a term for meat that is in some form of hunk. I am. Like Samson? No. But he's a hunk. No. Mm -hmm. <gasps> You're a furry. That's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> True. He is, he is hunkin' right now. He's just yeah, a fuzzy wuzzy it. boy! Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah. He's like, I'll get you guys something nice. Nicer than armor. And then thinks to herself. Like, socks! No. Gold. 
I'll buy you b billets of gold. Nim does have steel bars, so it's not that out there. I mean, it's steel bars aren't bar. that expensive, though. No, I'm saying the next step is obviously a bar of gold. Well, we should get back. Mm -hmm. you... I assume this was while we were walking this yes. whole time. Yeah. But, like, actually, like, get back to the ship, as in, like, just go instead of just taking our time. Yeah. You walk back through the Ghost Apple Festival and approach the teleportation circle. There you find a note with a gun. Oh, cool, I got one of those. How do we get Samson back picks up thing? the note, but it's completely blank and turns it around both sides. All of a sudden, from the side he can't see, a gun comes around the corner. <laughs> 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 I knew you'd appreciate that! Oh. oh, that was a joke I planned out and I got you to laugh. I'm getting better at this one year at a time. <laughs> uh, proud of me? Yeah, you did good, kid. <laughs> Yay! Alright, Nim's up. Teleportation time. Get moving. Alright. Move, teleporter! We're still good. Teleportation circle you stand on activates and you are sent back in Rosebeard's office. Tell me this is the right one. Yes! I got the right. Don't forget to change the map. Zoom in, there we go, I can see the map. Our intrepid adventurers arrive back on the teleportation circle. And it's right back to life as normal has been. You see uh, the sands of another storm coming. <laughs> Not quite. You see it, Zanzibar is sitting at one of the tables in Rosebeard's office. He's got a few notebooks and surprisingly he's even wearing glasses. And he's just sitting there with that etched white orb in his hands, passing it between his he's fingers. He's pondering his orb? <gasps> he looks Woo! over the, he looks up over the glasses. Ah Surprisingly right on time. And here Hi, Zanzibar. Hello! And he sets the orb back down and walks over to Samson and Yama. I am assuming you want me to waste no time fixing this, as he just points at you and passes his fingers over one another. Uh, unless, you know, you have decided you'd rather be a tabaxi and you have decided you prefer not to have fur. I mean, I'll be honest. I think this looks better on you than it does me. He's gonna point to Yala. <laughs> I don't look like you. That's really I... funny because the other context is here. <laughs> Samson just said she's ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I think you're better with fur. On. No, as in, like, being a tabaxi just looks better for you than it does for me. I know exactly what you mean, but it's also funny to think that head-ass Samson Himbo Merrymaker just straight up looked at a woman and said, You're ugly as sin. Let's get you back the way you should look. Anyway, DM stuff aside. Yeah, that's not... 
I hated the way you looked before, but it was better than how you look now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I hate the looks you like. I hate the looks you have. <laughs> So Hiao's response? Skin is gross. <laughs> Change me the fuck back. <laughs> she she said I don't look like you. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't look like you. That a yes, or are you going to contemplate each other's existence? I guess if if Samson doesn't no. reply to that at all, <laughs> she'll just look to Zanzibar and be like, you don't? "Yes, if you could fix it." Did Zanzibar, like you see the gl the glasses on his nose just slide down a bit as he kind of cocks an eyebrow? That was oddly kind of you to a uh, kind way of you to say that. I mean, he can read her mind, so he can probably tell all the crap that's going on inside of it right now. She's just <laughs> really <laughs> tired and broken down. Well, maybe you really did need those five hours. Still creeps me out, though, but I'll deal with it. And he it just, like, you know, puts his hand on top of Hyala's head and... Boop! Hyala just morphs back to being herself. Leia is no more. Hyala has appeared. Well, no, she was she was Hyala as soon as she got back on the boat. Also, roll twenty does not want me to change the picture. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I find it helps when you uh, go and then change your username to a different one and then go back to Hyala. No, it like froze all the way. <laughs> oh. Oh my. There we go. Reloaded, and I think it's. Working question mark? Uh, yep, yeah, there Ooh. we go. I see you yeah. now. We. And once Hiala's Hiala again, she's immediately going to walk away. Walk away? Walk out. That's oh. what I meant to say, and then my mouth decided it didn't want to function as the mouth. Don't forget, Samson mentioned the note in the box. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. She'll. She'll stop. You, you can get it later, it's just me. Oh, no, wait, no, you're she'll, get it. she'll stop, she'll grab it, and then she'll <laughs> leave. Walk over, grab <laughs> wherever the box was in the office of the ch I'm just imagining that it was even behind Zanzibar, like next to Rosemary's bed or something. And she just stops, walks across the office, picks up the box, and just walks out. Just and really quickly and awkwardly. Can that just be what happens, please? How many are there? Sure. Yeah, you have the box. You have not opened or found the compartment yet, but you have the box. So she walks out and it's like, huh. See, now that's more what I'm expecting. Uh, All right. All right, come here, you walking coat. As he just grabs Samson by the short hairs of his forehead and pulls him forward and just palms his face. That's just uncalled for. Samson is returned to Sammy Sam, the Samson Sam Sam. He loses the height he gained and becomes a manlet once more. Manlet, manlet, manlet. An attractive it's manlet. It's literally like the meme of like 5'11", 6 foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The second he's going to do is he's just gonna like grab at the handles of his guns. <laughs> it feels normal again. Yes, yes. Oh, and by the way, this is for you. And he's gonna pull out one of the lemons. Oh, speaking uh, of which, my apples. And, and Zanzibar just like you're just holding out a lemon for Zanzibar. Yeah. He, he's just staring at it, and he just like slowly reaches for it, and he just turns it over and like brings it 
a few inches from his face. Like, he's totally just confused. <laughs> you are aware that, like, you're not supposed to get me gifts, right? The general norm of how things work is you're supposed to hate me and want my eventual death. You're not supposed to give me gifts. Well, you seem to be in a bit of a sour mood before, and I couldn't think of, you know, because, like, I saw the things that you like and generally make you happy, like a good fight or a bunch of chaos, and I can't do either of those things. Yeah. So, so like, I got you a sour fruit for your sour mood. So he's still looking at this lemon, but you just see his mouth, like, half-forming words as he's just staring at it. But what you also notice is when you mention his sour mood, he doesn't realize it, but his left hand just curls up and just starts trying to, like, tuck itself under his sleeve. Totally unconscious that he's doing it. But it's like he's trying to pull his hand closer. Mm. Is that one not good enough? Because I got a second one. No, it, it it's fine. Cool. Um, um. Well, that's pretty good. And he starts walking back to the table. Um, mm. Mm. Such a good thing. Glad nature made this again. Samson, can I have my apples? Uh, you want the whole barrel? <laughs> Yes. All right. Yes. And he yeah, is going to carry a whole hold... barrel of apples in the bag of holding, I assume. So yeah, she's like, put it in the bag of holding. But also, I got first, you. can you hand me an apple? <laughs> I'm just imagining you're trying to place the bags of holding mouth to mouth to dump the barrel from one into the other. Nah, that... he, he'll he'll pull out the barrel from the bag of holding. Um. Place on the floor and pull off the ration tag. Okay. And he'll give one to Nim and take one for him. He'll take two, and he'll give one and he'll give a third one to Nim. Yay! So you open up he'll... the barrel and just yeah. start dispersing the apples. Yeah, he'll grab uh, three apples in total. Grab As and give you one to Nim. Crack open the cask of apples for the first time since its sealing, you see inside! Drum roll, please! Eggs. I'm gonna be so Perfectly excited. fresh ghost apples! Yay! Yeah, after Ooh. that whole kerfuffle of, uh, should we check the barrel, make sure we're not getting scammed, you know damn well I had to, at some point, yank your chains a little bit. That's fine by me. I didn't spend the money for it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, perfectly white, ripe, fresh ghost apples. Look at the sheen. The lack of color. And Zanzibar will just approach the barrel. And just reach in and take an apple. Never seen one of these before. Wonder how it tastes. Why is it spicy? <laughs> Why is it spicy? <laughs> okay, so this is that weird, uh, weirdly specific thing that I was telling you guys about that I didn't elaborate on. Why'd you just bite into it? You're supposed to cut it first. You what are you talking about? You cut an apple before you eat an apple. Um. Come on. Ain't, ain't no apple I ever had need to be cut first. You just bite into it? Uh, yes? Yeah, it overcomplicates the process. So, hold on, I actually have art of this. <laughs> that is literally the wonder of fruit. It is just. In its own skin, self-contained, no muss, no fuss. That's why I don't peel these as he just holds up the lemon. What would be the point? 
You can take the rind off. You can even not eat the rind. But you can still use it, and if you can still use it and eat it, then why not just eat it? It's more complicated that way. I've never bitten into an apple. Well? It just into an apple. Why don't you try now? God, you're so pretentiously rich. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't line this so you guys get my sketch. Come on, Nim. Give it a quick bite. Why is it spicy? I don't think you guys would know, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, yeah, Nim will take a bite into an apple. It tastes just as tasty. That is the cleanest sketch I think I've ever seen. What did I you do? I do fine sketch layers. Oh. I could see it so clearly. You what? I'm really confused. <laughs> Art, Art confuses me so much. Don't worry. So it some goes sketches to the I rest of like, the world. Some sketches I feel like my eyes are broken and I and people are like, oh, that looks so good. And I feel like I'm genuinely looking at a blank sheet of paper. And then other times I see sketches like this, and it literally looks like line art to me. What is wrong no, with this my is, eyes? This is a this is a sketch layer right before the line art. The one I used. This is like the oh, last bit of things that you touch up. Okay. Well, now it makes more sense. Okay. My eyes still aren't broken, and my brain still works apparently. Yeah, I have a lot of respect for the art process because I don't understand a damn thing about it. It's all black magic, anyway. <laughs> and double yeah. ring. That's how Nim looks when you guys just bend when I Sam's just, into an apple. I just realized something. Samson's the Elm of art. It's kind of true. The what? The Elm of art. Isn't his name Elm? Jade's mask, baby. Elam? Yeah. Yeah, Elam. And you're just... both rogues. Did I say Samson? I meant Ed. Ed is the Elam of art. He just doesn't believe in it. It's not real. Exactly! <sighs> oh, Samson What's is gonna... going to put on his fancy new uh, armor. What happened? Did I say something weird? It was like a dead reaction. You're fine, fam. About to have a panic attack, y'all. Keep being this quiet. Say shit. Oh shit. I mean, Thank it tells you. It in the scene. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, Samson puts on his fancy studded leather armor. Yeah. Now he just has to put the item on over top of it and wear two sets of armor. But only get the benefits of one. <clears throat> Oof. Burping. But yeah, no. Zanzibar goes back to eating his fruits. What do you think? Oh, uh, let me, uh, Nim's gonna follow Samson until he eats it. And then wants to see his reaction. Um. Oh, you said that they typically come in two flavors, right? Yeah. Hmm. Hold these for me. Hold what? Hold these for me. Okay, and then we'll hold them. Whatever them is. The ghost apples. Oh. Wait, the barrel or the two that he took out? The two that he took out. Okay, I want to see where this is going, because I have no idea where this is going. Uh, well, for starters, he's going to pop the top back on the barrel and slap another ration tag on it. Move then, one ration tag from inventory. Will do. <laughs> oh no, inventory management. <laughs> oh, you hate that. I do. I do. All right. All right. Uh, so 
Nim now has the, I presume, still 50 pounds of, oh, barrel. of apple. <laughs> yes. Like, 49 and something, something, 49 something. points. Rounded up to 50. Did I forget to hit the... Loop? Yes. Yes. So you hand him the apples, and then slap the ration tag on it, and then what? Yep. Um, slap the ration tag on the barrel, put him in your bag of holding, and pick up all of his Adam stuff. And, you know, put that all back on his inventory. Yeah. While all the apple shenanigans are going on, Hela's doing her exercises. She lifts, and... bro. <laughs> I, I never told you how that works. We'll, we'll get to that. Yeah, you did. Did I? Okay. Yeah. Good. I did the thing. Wow, I've been on top of things lately with this campaign. I am shocked at myself. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I had like a few questions. Because, uh... like, I assume I can roll more than once to attempt to hit the target, right? Target? Um. Yeah. I think. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in a second. Because my mind is, like, split right now. Uh, what, what, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, as Samson's picking up his armor, Zanzibar will just tap his heel into the floor on the teleportation circle. And it'll lift off the floor and coalesce just into a ball of Eve. How do that? How do what I? is that? This? I transmuted her awful chalk into Eve so that no one would be able to necessarily accidentally wipe it off because that chalk was awful or, you know, it wouldn't be dispelled so easily or the oh. water wouldn't wash it away. Speaking of... Uh, did did Nim give Samson the chalk, or does she have it on her? You handed Nim the chalk, like, yeah. right after you got it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Nim has it. Yeah. Uh, we got some fancy chalk from, uh, one of the vendors. Oh, did you now? And you just watch the orb just dissipate into nothing. And he, he told us that there was uh, Eve in it. That, that stuff you were just talking about. Zanzibar cocks an eyebrow. Well then, my apprentice, present me your finding. And he just extends his hand out. And then we'll hand it to him. I traded it for a doohickey. Yeah, uh, where did you get that? I found it underwater. Oh. Just about the rest of the calamities things that she's found came from the beach. And he's, like, inspecting the chalk, lifting it up to the light coming in from the upper deck. Let's see, let's see. Fine Eve powder. Each particle, judging by the texture and consistency, should be about 68 <laughs> nanometers wide apiece. Fully atomized. Just a smidgen of crack cocaine. Radiant the good gold. stuff. Radiant gold dust mixed into a one to one <laughs> ratio and a base core of lapis lazuli. There is no bit of meaning of Christmas. <laughs> there... <laughs> there is no way, there is not even a single part of my mind that believes you know the significance of what you're holding. However, very good work. This is appropriate for someone of your caliber. And he just takes the chalk down from the light and passes it back to you. Then we'll take it back saying you're right. I don't. That chalk is very useful. It's not easy to wipe away, but it can be cleaned off. Basically, what you have is a chalk that will not so easily erode or disperse. Anything you write or any magics you perform with that usually will be resisted to weathering. 
you know, unless you completely smear it or decide to start trying to use chalk underwater or some other erroneous, idiotic idea that I don't even think you would have come up with. For example, teleportation circles written with that won't be permanent permanent. You still have to follow the basic procedures to create a permanent circle. But, you know, you don't have to worry about somebody dropping a glass of water on it and all of a sudden, uh-oh, we're stuck, you know, who knows where. Uh-oh, we took a teleportation circle to the geosphere and somebody on the other side accidentally wiped the circle away. Uh-oh, now we live in permanent sand with nothing to eat. Safety first. Yay, you did it. I'm proud of you. Gold star, bitches. No anyway. one's ever said that to Nick. <laughs> I thought about saying that, not gonna lie. Nim, Nim just, I almost asked why. Nim just has, like, a complete mental breakdown. It's like, proud? What? Nah. Damn. I've heard of people being proud of you in myths and legends. <laughs> I don't even know who this was if he was alive. What Nim do? Oh. What Samson do? What the group do? Zanzibar said uh, Samson's gonna head outside of, uh... Um. Hold that thought. Samson's going to leave. <laughs> Hold that thought. Bye. We eat your apples and then we'll follow because she wants to see you eat these apples because she hopes you enjoy them. And as you approach the door, Zanzibar just reaches out and grabs him from the back of her collar. Ah, ah! You're back on the ship. We're fixing you being 12. Now, not a moment apples. later. Technically, <laughs> it is irrelevant here. Sa Samson's going to turn back as like Nim gets grabbed and just be like, apples and hold his hands out sad that she can't watch you eat them, but she will hand you the apples. Thank you. And then Samson's going to leave. <laughs> he doesn't even care! He's just leaving her! It's fine. Everyone leaves Nim once in their life. I mean, what Nim does Yala just... do? Um, yeah, I guess. Oh. What does Yala do? I have already stated that. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you were going to do anything specific. Because <laughs> I know you said you were going to do your workout thing. For I just pulled the weights, so I'm waiting. Oh, the lifting weights thing. I thought you were talking about the box. Anyway, as Nim watches Samson get further and further away from her, the door closes via magic. <gasps> and he's just... And she's just pulled next to Zanzibar. And that's it. I, no, I click the We button. cut the scene there. <laughs> he just, he like lifts, he grabs her by the head, grabs her by like the shoes, and just kind of like pulls <gasps> her a little bit. <laughs> she just goes back to normal. So the door closes, and all of a sudden the office seems darker than before. And he just spins you around. All right, sit. I'm trying to set him being snarky, like, on the floor or on the chair, because... Obvi. He can detect your questioning, so it's like, on the floor, Nim. Gross. Pop a squat. Nim will sit. Very well. All right. And he just crisscross applesauces across from you. Here's a gun. I'll teach you how to use it. Now, this shouldn't take too long. However, before we begin, I should say this out of fairness. Does Nim have a response? Or is she just waiting patiently? Waiting for him to finish. <laughs> for once. Ah, I was expecting retort. Well, 
quite simply, first and foremost, uh, I'm sorry. This is going to hurt a lot. And then he just reaches and grabs Nim around the head. And Nim just feels a lurch, but a magical lurch. And so, go on. Nim would be like, then put me to sleep right now. <laughs> Technically, that is what you're going to do. It's still going to hurt. Night, night. And, and your world just goes black. And everything hurts. I have psychological damage. Yeah, what else is new? Outside the office. Uh, all of a sudden, you just hear Zanzibar and Nim just scream. A time a lady doesn't scream. A lady doesn't scream, but this is different. I thought you were gonna say, but Nim's not a lady, and I was gonna say, excuse you. No, Nim's excuse a child. You. The only notable feature, despite a constant scream, is that they are screaming exactly in unison. To a point that it sounds like they are just screaming as one. In Zanzibar's consciousness, he's just sitting there, surrounded by an astral display. In front of him, a tangled web of fibers and, and uh, what's the other word? What's another word for fiber? Strings? Yeah. Threads? Yeah, there you go. Fibers and threads. Tangled Fiber and objects. interwoven. Their ends connecting into the very fabric around him. Okay. Let's try and make this as quick as possible before I have to rebuild a brain and he just starts trying to as gently as possible unweave this tangled mess however in Nim's view she feels constant near unimaginable pain but as she focuses she starts to see things war pain famine Blood, the mess. death, so many different moments, and she can hear a live action cowboy bebop. <laughs> <laughs> but what she starts to hear as things become more and more clear <laughs> is just many different voices, but all the same voice. And it slowly becomes apparent to her through the pain. All of them are just Zanzibar but from different moments. One where he's being whipped mercilessly by a thick burning chain. Another a war where he's being stabbed fighting many different individuals. Another where he stands on a mountaintop. She can feel feelings of horror as he looks upon a desolated nation. Gods, angels, creatures beyond her imagination. All of them in one way, shape, or another, reflecting violence, chaos, never-ending nightmare. Amidst all of this, she feels just helplessness. Like a purpose lost, a journey never-ending. And just as soon as it felt to start, it begins to secede away. And on Zanzibar's end, a final knot becomes loosened, and he carefully unthreads the strands. <sighs> That's about as fast as I think I've worked in a millennia. The two entities that were so intermingled now rest neatly apart from each other. With any luck, I still have an apprentice. 
just as Not quick. to diminish this, like, super serious moment, but I imagine that Xantax just untied, like, those two shoelaces. <laughs> I don't know how they got stuck together, but you had to, like, end up using, like, six or seven, like, pointed tools just to untangle. <laughs> yeah. As it begins to end, the scene that everyone else was subjected to, Rosebeard's is just like trying to crawl off the upper deck uh Samson and Hyala don't even know what to think oh are they on the upper deck yeah okay you don't even know what to think because during all of it you ran up and looked down and all you saw was a deep red and black slurry and sludge filling the room to the point where by the time the climax of all this transpired, it was threatening to leak out of the grate and door, the grating above the office and the door below. Rosebeard was pressed up against the railing <laughs> with this look of horror and complete sickness over his face. It dissipates and you guys can see through the grate. Nim, Nim and Zanzibar are there. But Nim looks awfully tired. Nim, you reawaken. What's the difference? <laughs> What's the difference? The difference is this is Nim, not Shay. One gets to sleep. I won't <laughs> say which. But you come back to consciousness. And as you kind of sit there woozy... You just feel two hands touch your shoulders. Alright, time to wake up. How we feeling, kiddo? I almost said get some help. <laughs> For you. <laughs> Call you the therapist. We good? Yeah, but I'm going back to sleep. That's fair. Tomorrow your lessons start up again, so. Bingo, bongo, jungo. Does Nim go to sleep right then and there? Are Samson and Kella at the doorway, or did I miss here? No, we're up We're up top looking through this grate. Kella's not. <laughs> Samson might be. Oh, I see how it is. I'm kidding. <laughs> she wasn't paying attention. No, I To the blood curdling scream? Correct. Yellow's like, gotta get them gains. Damn. Yellow's like, nobody bought me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny on my end for a very different reason. And Jade, you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's, she's not thinking about anything else right now. She's just trying to exercise out the angst. So Chiella's just having a moment. Uh, Nim's having several moments. And Samson's like, what the fuck? Ah. Nim waves at Samson and then goes to bed. Nim's out for the count. Good yeah, night, Nim. Oh, she's her. asleep already. Well, I guess I can give it to her in the morning. Or whenever she wakes up. Is it candy? So much for surprises. Oh, what is it? Oh, you were watching? Did you have fun? Uh, no. It was horrifying. Good. I'd ask for details, but genuinely, even if you told me, I probably wouldn't remember three seconds from now. Hey, fair enough. So what little surprise you got cooked up? That's none of your business, because it's not for you. And he well, just that's why I, straightens and <laughs> That's why tight. you should be able to tell me. Yeah. Sam, yeah. we yeah. both know you were born with the gift of gab and, well, what you lack in magical talent, you make up for with the gift of gab. Yeah, I guess I'll know for soon enough. Exactly. Where's the dwarf? Uh, up here. <laughs> Rosemary's just holding on to the railing. He's still staring where the last tendril was. <laughs> He's shaking like one of the like a cat. 
to like pull on into like somewhere high up. Yeah, pretty much. You the know, unlike the, the actual cat. The rest of the pirates are kind of like sit, you know, kind of like on their ass too. Like that was. What's he doing? Uh. Recovering. Oh, big baby, steer the boat. We're turning. And you just see him let go of the railing and just like grab onto the wheel, but he's standing to the side of it. And he's just like turning the wheel without getting in front of it. Anyway, she's out for the count. Let's not move her. <laughs> Santa Boy just opens up the door and comes back on deck. <gasps> A new Nim picture! She's so pretty. Thanks. In fact, I think that's my new favorite one. After this session, I want to see that more. That, that is a really good pick. But yeah, Zanzibar comes out on deck. Oh, for crying. You're all grown men! Why are you so afraid? Because you're kind of freaky. And they kind of just all collectively look at each other, and they're like... Who's gonna come? Oh, yeah, he's got a point. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like... Like schoolyard grumbling. It's like, yeah, yeah, at this point, what else is new? We should expect this. We should just be prepared for every day being macaroni art day. <laughs> So yeah, Nim's out for the count. Uh, Samson is there. Hyala is uh, lifting dumbbells. It will change her life. By the way, if you haven't already, you can ask me those questions. I should be able to think uh, think them now. Uh, I mean, you answered them. I was just waiting to roll. Oh. It was about, like doing it more than once, because I was like, it's going to be nigh impossible to hit an 18 every single day if I can only roll one time per day. How I... about... If it has to be in a row. So how about three strikes, you're out. I don't think it has to be in a row. I think it just has to be a collective, if I okay, remember cause... my thought process correctly. Yeah, the wording said every day, which to me implied if you miss a day... That's not every day. But if it can just be in general, you have to hit 14 days of stuff. That's yeah, you gotta work at it every day, and then you have to hit the total. Mm. So there is a hard minimum, but a basically infinite maximum. Okay. And I'll say, like, three strikes, you're out for trying to hit the number. Or, cool. you know, you could just roll once a day, because the failures don't reset you to zero. That'd be silly. Mm -hmm. I mean, then I should roll three times a day. Yeah, but you only get the benefit of succeeding once. Yeah, but... It's either or. I'll leave it up to you at a spirit of fairness, because I don't 100% remember it. <laughs> and I don't want to be a stickler for things that aren't so overly important. Yeah. How can I be a stickler for the thing that will help you be the thing? Do the thing that I gave you that I was already a stickler for. I can't be double stickler. I have to be kind somewhere. Let me build the Sticklering. Thing. I subject you and your characters to unimaginable horrors on the constant. I can be nice in this instance. <laughs> Like Just nothing. this one. Just this once! So do I roll now? You can roll now. It's, it's just plain strength, you... right? Yes! Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Boop. There we go. Nice. Shay, I'm being 100% honest Would... when I say this. The longer I look at this new picture, the more it becomes my favorite Nick and picture. This is absolutely incredible. It's really I can't good. look at it too long because Nim's staring into my soul and it freaks me out. She's so pretty! 
Nim is. You're into the abyss, the abyss stares back. Yes, she is, yes, but like, Nim is it's abyss. really demonstrated here. God, you, you do her hair so well. It's the brushes, but thank you. <laughs> Would y'all like an advantage if she had a spotter? <laughs> <laughs> no. Aww. That's what a spotter does! <laughs> also, y'all weren't here when she started doing it, so there's no spotting happening. Oh, yeah, not now. So wait, does that mean Hyala is done when, by the time Sanson comes back and Nim's not dead anymore? Uh, no, she's still doing it. Okay. I'm just gonna stop rolling. <laughs> Whenever you stop doing it, uh... Samson's gonna throw an apple at you. <laughs> is Yala lifting? Uh, I assume the barrel was still up here. Fair enough. Like, there's barrels you can find just about anywhere. Especially anywhere there's barrels on the boat, like, visibly on the boat tile. Yeah, that, that is a constant search of barrels, because one, I can't move them, and two, I don't feel like saying, Oh, they're not actually there, they've been moved. Like, I'm not gonna... Oh yeah, also, another point of curiosity, did that first thing I do count as, like, doing a day and hitting the target, or is that just nothing? I'm gonna say no, only because... Okay. That was to get started. Yeah, your warm up rest. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that, was, that was a warm up. <laughs> that, that was you, like, futzing around with things trying to figure out what felt like it was actually working out. I'm not gonna lie, though, I genuinely was imagining Kiala, like, now. Just found, like, a barbell somewhere. I don't even know why I was thinking it, because I know there's no, no I, barbells on the boat. I strongly considered asking if the general store had, like, a workout section and getting her, like, official workout equipment. Oh my but I god, like, I would have said yes immediately. There would have been no like problem. Work. <laughs> Can I buy a home gym? <laughs> <laughs> well, we come back on the boat. It just starts. Oh, singing. I have a super. I have a bow that I need to get used to. Ah, say no more. No, oh, no, 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 no. with yield bow flex. Nah, forget the bow flex. I was literally thinking of Cielo going into the fitness aisle and then walking out with a shake fit. <laughs> or the shake weight. Oh, yeah, God. the shake weight. <laughs> <coughs> That's awful. Anyway, <laughs> Yala just standing there doing like Zumba with a shake wig. <laughs> whenever, whenever the shake wig comes up, all I can think of is that South Park episode. Oh, no, no. <laughs> with the shake wig. <laughs> so, so Simpson waits for it to stop before throwing the apple at her, or does he just walk up and eat an apple? <laughs> Um, after he's done, like, talking to Zanzibar, he's gonna wait till it looks like throwing an apple to you won't get you killed, and then throw an apple to you. <laughs> I don't think at any point an apple is going to kill her. Well, like, if someone th chucks an apple at you, and you drop the thing you're doing <laughs> onto yourself... She's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure a barrel isn't going to do enough damage to- Yeah, but Sansa doesn't want to hurt Hyala. Or okay. there would be other projectiles. <laughs> Throwed at other speed. Yeah, Hyala's already- mechanisms. Hyala's already chased him around for less and shot things at him for less. She's doing yeah. it for the fun of it. Well... You know what, you're right. I'm gonna belt that thing like a fucking <laughs> NBA <player>. <laughs> <laughs> just throws hey, it bow, so bow, bow. hard that it explodes on Yala's face. Like, it just breaks apart. She's just covered with bits of apple. I can hear it now. Merry maker. I don't know. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Did I do that? Okay, but, like, here's the thing. If he's waiting for her to put the barrel down, it's gonna be, like, an hour to two hours. I guess not the barrel down, but in a spot where I could just toss you something and you won't get hurt. I mean, that's. Can I sneak thing. attack with the apple? <laughs> <laughs> she is wrong. Mean, so you have. Yeah, no, Hyala is going to exercise to the point of like exhaustion. So she's going to be doing this for a while. Yeah. So I you're either going to sit there and watch, or at some point get bored and just throw an apple at her head. That's the latter sounds better. So I'm <laughs> just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna, t gonna be like, hey Hyala, heads up, bonk. Yeah, I just imagine it. Hits her head and falls on the ground. 